Hi, I'm Graeme Johnston. I'm Mr. Carpai Puku. I gotta say, I get inundated with the amount of people saying, how do we make a, a bircha out of Carpai Puku? Because you wouldn't think so being sea based. Leave it to me. I'm going to show you how to do it. One of the special ingredients in the tribal blend is cacao. It's not rancid and we've also got an indigenous seed from the outback. It's unique because it's got this flavour of coffee and it's a seed. Now I'm going to show you how we make these beautiful ingredients into a bircher. The first step is we get our raw ingredient and I'm going to pour it in and show you what a simple procedure this is. Now we're going to lightly wet the kaupai puku with cloudy apple juice. Now the thing to remember here are the seeds absorb the apple juice. We've distinctly hydrated those seeds. Now the next part is we're putting a yogurt in. Now I'm always very meticulous on our, my yogurt. This is a flavoured yogurt, but what the yogurt does have in it, it's got the acidophilus. The acidophilus is brilliant for your stomach. Seeds are absorbing. And the longer you leave it, the less the movement is. So it just does change its viscosity. Now, if you're elderly and you have trouble with your dentures, you leave it in the fridge overnight. Now, if you're not, we can eat it instantly and you still have that beautiful bircher feel. Remember, also, these seeds are living enzymes. If I put soil or water over this, the seeds will sprout. And it's very significant because those seeds will go through that 22 feet of intestinal tract. It'll catch the doughs and the pastries and the foods that you don't really want in your intestinal tract. And what the enzymes do is they do a beautiful cleansing action. Here we go. Last but not least, I've got the kiwi fruit. I like the skin. It's not for everyone. And the beauty about this is it's only taken three minutes. How easy is that? Three minutes for a beautiful, nutritious kaupai puku breakfast. Apple juice, yogurt, kiwi fruit.